All right, so today I am resting these um, shelves, and I put on Facebook where I had found the site that showed how you can do this chemically, um, and I tried it, and frankly, it just didn't work. And it's probably because I was too lazy to do all of the cleaning steps because I'm not going to clean something just to dirty it back up again. So <laughs> I'm doing it this way, and this is by far not my... I, I, I've seen somebody else use this technique. I don't know who it is, and I wish I could give them credit. But basically all I'm doing is spraying it down with just water and then just hitting it with a can of spray paint. Just like that. And it beads up where the water was and washes away and um, it leaves a nice a nice fake rust look and honestly I really should have used a deeper rustier red brown than this but this is what I had on hand and um, you know time is of the essence here so <laughs> we're just gonna make this do I mean frankly it's, it's gonna be seen in the dark anyway um, and I'm going to come back through with some, with some um, black in a minute. And if I get to Walmart today, I might buy a more deeper rust brown color. But for what these are for, I mean, they're only going to be seen for a second. It's going to be really, really dark. And they're going to be covered with my minor hats. So it's not like, you know, this is more of a backdrop item than a main, a main addition item. So, um, I think this is going to work just fine. Let me back up and let you see so far how it's looking. And, uh, excuse my messy yard. Um, but that's what I have so far. I'm going to go back and get the black now and fill that in and we'll see how right. it goes. <laughs> I might have just flipped this video upside down and I think I did. Hold on. Okay, there. I think that might be right. Alright, so now I'm just going back in with my black. If you don't have one of these spray can thingies man you got to get one anyway so the darker colors are going to be up you know in the corners where the most rest would happen so I'm hitting all of the corners really good mine's still pretty wet but um you know you can hit it again if you need to to make sure yeah see that's not dripping really well so let me grab my spray bottle and get that to run really good like that and um, I'm just gonna keep doing this in all of the corners and areas you know where I feel like there would be you know deeper rust and I may have to come back and do a little sponge painting you know when it's all said and done but um, you know like I said for what I'm using this for and you know if this was gonna be like a you know like the centerpiece of a room or something then you might would want to take a little bit better care than what I'm doing here because like I said, anywhere there's a hole, you know, like there, there'd be more rest, deeper rest. Um, but anyway, you know, just for a really quick five minute paint job on something that really isn't going to be seen that much, this will work just fine. And I'll go back over, I think, some of this black and put a little bit more brown in it. But you get the idea, and um, I hope this helps somebody.